Well, let's get started with this one. Um, all right, welcome to Tease to Totes <laughs> and Pet Toys. And pet toys. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one here. Tease to totes and toys. Tease to totes and toys. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. Toys. This one here is for up to 20. Am I correct, Colette? Up to 20 participants? Uh, that one is 12. 12. Reason being because we're using fabric scissors. Mm. Um, I suppose we could probably increase it. We just have to order more. Well, but right we now, it's full. Yeah, you guys have some. We do expand. We could probably. This one right is super yeah. easy. You can totally make it bigger. For um, but right now with the scissors, I think that's what we're limited by. So it's twelve. Okay, so this one is awesome. Um, again, please workshop participants um, on the front. Uh, Clean up here is on the back. The read through the lesson plan. Um, it's this one. I don't know if that uh, more the A and steam, <laughs> but the four R's concept that we would like uh, to highlight is fast fashion, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's trending right now, fast fashion. So social media, there's a lot of um, you know uh, PSAs being made by people, um, young people on fast fashion. So we have some fast fashion facts. Um, we have this cool hierarchy of needs that was um, created by uh, Sarah Lazarevic to help us think of ways to um, reduce our consumption of new items, new clothing items, and a small definition or a short definition here about upcycling, um, which was pretty trendy and we need to bring it back. <laughs> well, you got trendy again with the mask during uh oh, yeah. you got trendy yeah, again with the so mask yeah I yeah mean, people are doing a little well. exactly <laughs> um so that um is some of the four r's concepts that you can cover here and then additionally this original um craft itself actually created a lot of scraps hmm. which i was not happy with we had sleeves left over, we had hems left over, um, and that made me think, okay, we need to do something with the scraps too, right? So um, not only can they create uh, tote bags, you know, upcycle a t-shirt into a usable item, but I'd like to also encourage participants to make pet toys that either can be taken to the s you know they can take them home and use them of course if they have pets or give them away to people that do or we'd be happy to collect them and then take them to the spca on their behalf because i know i've been to events i don't know if you have two at the spca where you get to make these and the kids from younger to older have so much fun making these right and all of these this is um sleeves this is the long hem, and this is sleeves and any stuffed with all the little parts that are left over. Okay, so there's that. All right, as far as making the t-shirt to tote, there is a video online off our website, which you can reference and look at um, beforehand. But we also, this kit also includes the, the cutting guide. Um, so these are the, this is where you'll line your t-shirt with chalk. Um, you'll draw these uh, lines right here and along, you'll cut the hem off as well. And then for the fringe, which can be the trickier part, we have this little guide in here, which they can use to um, uh, draw their the, the lines that they're going to um, tie together to uh, sew, sew the bottom of their hem, right? Um, sometimes they have trouble with that spacing. So that's why I included that. Um, <laughs> True, use your finger too. That's a good one. For I guess I was thinking of little fingers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was thinking of the little ones. So um, yeah, I mean, you get the general shape of the bag, right? Um, you cut off all the, the hems here. 
And then the only thing to remember here with the t-shirt to tell if you haven't done it before is that the very last one you want to cut on the inside of the hem so that you have a top and bottom fringe. That's what you're going to then um, have them tie together is the top and bottom fringe. Of course, like I said, this is um, on our website. It's also a very common craft, so you can find it on YouTube easily. Um, you just double knot there and, uh, you know, they can turn it inside out to, well, <laughs> not on this one, you won't see it, right? But when you turn it inside out, the fringe will be gone. Mm -hmm. um, so they have a tote, which they can personalize and decorate at home, however they see fit, or if you want to provide, you know, some permanent markers or some kind of coloring material, they can do that. Um, but I encourage you, this is, this is a pretty quick craft. So that these toys also fill out the hour with them. And, and like I said, I think they, they have fun doing them. Um, the, this braid toy for the, you know, with the doggies pulling on them comes from the long hem that gets cut off of here. The donut toy comes from the sleeves that are most likely going to get cut off. And the little pillow is just also comes from the sleeves as well. And um, the little hems that get cut off right here. Oh, this is actually tied with the shorter hems as well. So um, they most likely won't get to this one, but I just added it anyway, in case they want to. It's most likely going to be these two. Um, they don't use any glue. So there's, no, well, I encourage them not to use any glue because they're going to be pet toys. Um, but just make them secure, you know, and maybe you can double check before uh, you toss them in this bag. So if they are going to go to the SPCA, we're providing a bag in here that they can go into. Um, and we will also have just a bag of extra t-shirts as well that, you know, we've collected from other workshops. There's a bunch of scraps in here as well. So, um, yeah, what we're trying to do is use up everything when we do this craft. So that's that's what we're going for with the t-shirts to totes. And <laughs> yeah, that's a really short and sweet one. May I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. Is there a, is there a way to, to reinforce the handles at all? Or, um, I don't know. Like I'm just wondering. Yeah. I wonder if you could take the like the, the pet toy birdie technique and that. That's why I was thinking around. about something like yeah. that as a possibility. Okay, so oh, Colette had included some thread and needle with this originally. If you want to go there, we can certainly provide that. I uh, um I know that sometimes it's a lesson in and of itself, right. threading the needle, <laughs> the knot, and everything. So um just so you know, that is available, but we didn't, we decided to take it out of the kit just because um, yeah. my concern was that you're going to have an additional thing to teach, mm. um, which might, you know, take away from just the attention that this one they might have a little bit of trouble with just because they have to roll and keep it tight. So it's good to work with a partner um, so that, you know, they can hold it while you're tying your knots and stuff. Um, this one too, it's helpful to have somebody hold it tight, you know, so that you can braid. Sometimes braiding is a lesson in and of itself as well, right? Just getting the knots, um, even for, for teens. Uh, they don't, I mean, my husband braided my hair the other day. <laughs> He's like, what do I do? Like, you should know this. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's that. And then of course, safety with fabric scissors, um, not to be cutting other things because fabric scissors do so at all. Um, they're not supposed to be used for anything else except cutting the fabric. Um, that is that. So yeah. in this activity, uh, are the, the t-shirts are going to be provided with like- Oh, that's the reuse. Got that's it. the apps. Okay. If you all have old t-shirts laying around okay. and you want to provide them, of course, by all means. Um, there are going to be a few extras here. Um, I think we'll talk about whether we provide 20 t-shirts or just a few, but yeah, the point is that you're asking them to bring a t-shirt to upcycle and there will be a few extra as well for anybody that forgets or just can't for whatever reason. 
I think you might have, well, I know Bruce like, has some extra t shirts from our adult way. I know we all have yeah. lots of t shirts laying around. Huh? So, yeah. I have to dig it out of the closet somewhere. <laughs> Did you have a question? And well, welcome, some by the way. Question, just wondering if we're going to get a bin and a binder. Oh, yeah. So geez, thank you for joining us. So let me go through really quick um, what goes. So each of these bins um, will be nicely packed with um, the binder, which has the, you know, we're asking um, you to help us track how many participants are using this. So you'll put your name, the location date, number of participants in your name. And then um, you will get the lesson plan, which we encourage you to read through all the way first before you do it. There's also, there's the materials that come in the box here. There's general supplies, which um, is the general supplies are the ones that you can supply as well if you run out of something, right? And there, this one does not have unique supplies that we, we would refill for you. It's, it's pretty standard. Um, and then there's a suggested uh, lesson plan timeline for your hour. Um, and that is it and all the additional items that you need for the, the conversation starters or whatever facts you want to share are here as well, as, as well as the, the guides that you can pass out. There's not one per participant, so I'm just encouraging, you know, sharing that um, so we don't have to make too many copies of the things. And then the samples will be in the box too. So you don't have to make these yourself. These will always be traveling with the box. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that is that fast fashion, trying to tackle um, voice problem at, uh, that or uh, just think about. Yeah. You know? We're just using the chalk for the guide. Yes, chalk okay, cool. for the just the guide yeah. for themselves to cut. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm done with this. <laughs> <laughs>